Well, sure, it's a number of years ago I showed you a Ghostbusters trap. You did. You never caught a single ghost with it. What not. a waste of money. I know, exactly. Yes. Who, who'd have turned that? Who'd have found that they don't exist? <laughs> Funny you'd known that yeah. at the start. But this product emits flashing lights at 5 to 30 cycles per second, according to the box. Epileptastic. Yep, brilliant. You might want to be wary of that, seriously, if you're sensitive, because we're going to film it. <laughs> oh, man. So this is like, well, the neutrino wand. The yeah, neutrino, little, uh, yes. bit that clips onto the proton pack and zaps. That spoons. is true. That doesn't exist at the moment in at the moment. material form, no. Oh. But uh, this is quite a lot of trouble getting hold of this as well, because you're... For some reason, the electronics inside makes it illegal to ship to the UK by uh, thingy methods, by through <laughs> by the store method. Sort of magic yes. Method. So basically, I had to send, had it sent to a friend, who in oh, turn had it sent to me. So, my so golly goodness! I paid twice as much for postage. Tremendous! How jolly for you. Um, well. I'm quite intrigued by this actually. This was one of those. There was that horrible cheap plastic version from the 80s where you got like the proton. Oh, pack the real the Ghostbusters. Thing. Yeah. Yes. And everybody wanted that toy. And nobody seemed to have it because it was quite expensive. Mm. It came the little PKE meter and that. And as far as I can tell, actually looking back at it uh, later on, it was just like a long bit of foam that spun around. Oh, it didn't even spin around. Didn't it? No, I just stuck it in the end and you press the button and then you made a noise. <laughs> so it just sounded like it spun around. It made a sort of mechanical... Yeah, when well, you just sort of wobble it around and sort of twat people with it. And this is going to be a lot better than that. Yes. Right, show us this thing, Larry. Okay, we we'll for this. I should take it out of its uh, white. Well, I'll try to take it out of the white. So I'll, I'll start on this end. Yeah, that'll be good. Well, it does... <laughs> it's not covered in tape, is it? Right? No, it isn't. Oh, man. Oh, there you that go. was well, a tough it's one. Definitely sealed in there. And uh, got there. Oh my god, there's like a proper box inside. Oh yeah, don't you remember the original? Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? Oh man. There you go. Oh. Mm, box tastic. I like it when they put some effort into the package. It is. That's probably half the money of the what I paid for it. Yeah. It's nice though. Well, there's a warning. Do not cross the streams unless there is a 100 foot marshmallow man threatening to destroy your city. Hilarity ensued. Mm. Right. Mm. Well, here's the instructions. I'll, I'll, I'll avoid the instructions because I think you probably know what you're doing yes. with it. Really? Oh my goodness, look at this thing, man. Oh wow. Doo -doo -doo. Right, it's coming out of the bag. Oh my goodness, look at that. They've even um, put paint applications on it to make it look like it's warm. Yes. Well, the switches, do they do anything? Uh, they do. Uh. Well, what you need Whoa. to do, I should tell you, there's a specific order you need to turn them on in. Okay. Uh, Hang on. There we are. Okay. Well, do you want to sort of label it round so you can see? Or Ooh. that way or something. Right? That way, okay. Oh, yeah. Hold okay. on that. Turn that one on first. This one? Yeah. Oh, noises. Then Exciting. the top one. Oh, look at this. Uh, That's then powering up. This one. Activate. All right, and uh, then uh, flick that green switch. So I was just saying, this was quite impressive that these sounds started to sound as if it was coming from here and then kind of moved up. I don't know if it's got multiple speakers or Possibly. something. This is very good. Right, yeah. green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you can shoot. How cool is that? I'm getting far too much enjoyment. And from this. also, you can change the. You can also turn this and make it more powerful. Ooh. Oh yeah, the little um, yes power meter down there goes up. So I think that's the higher one. Oh, okay, I don't. How cool is that? So that's high and low. Yeah. Wow, that is a nice thing. Oh look. Yes. So the future. Future proofing it, so ah, yeah, so you can slot that onto your um, yes, V hook, pack. and away you go. So to turn it off again, we turn activate down, presumably. No, 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 you no. Oh, oh, you didn't have it extended all the way. Oh, there we are. Now it's fully out. Oh, I like that. Right, so I can go back in. Yeah. Turn it down. Just a reverse. Wow. 
Clippard Instrument Laboratory in Cincinnati, Ohio, Minimatic. That's actually, they had to license that, there's a fuse. Oh my god. Danger, high voltage, one kilovolt electric shock hazard, remove power before repair or adjustment. I assume that's fictional. Yes. What batteries does it take? Uh, I think it's double A's. The oh. batteries uh, go in here. You have to unscrew this. Ah, uh, gotcha. And they go in there. How many does it take? Four or six, if I recall. Ah. And in Every real life, you'd want to use gloves while using it because it's got a heat sink on the yes. other side. Yes. And a really easy way to burn yourself. But it is, it is very nice. I mean, it's, it is. The only downside is it's plastic, really. I mean, I mean, I think proper collectors would like a metal one. Yeah. Imagine the cost of that. But yeah, it would be twice the price. I mean, yeah. have a metal look. It's very nice. I Just, want the PKE meter. I've got one of them. No, they did one. They do, yes. And they also do ecto goggles as well. Oh my goodness! And also, you can connect the ecto goggles to the PKE meter. You can see ghosts through them. That's just freaky. Mm. Wow! Oh man, you've got to show me that PKE. I meter do. Sometime. I don't know where the hell it is at the moment. I got. I Good. Bought, I can steal it. You want I bought it to one day show you it, and then lost the money for you been over for so long. So. <laughs> So when you come over in 2018, maybe yes. I'll have it ready in then. Good, make sure you do. I'll have the backpack by then probably as well. Oh man, the Ecto, that would be great. I'd like an Aliens um, proximity meter as well. That would be, cool. be good. You can get an iPod. An iPod app. Uh, iPhone app, yes. Yeah, we're halfway there with that. Does it actually detect aliens? Well, you wouldn't know, can't be around. I think it does. It's got a magnetic field. Uh, you can detect magnetic fields now. It's so something, isn't it? Ghosts. If only we had something to deal with them. Mm. But we well, don't, because this is a plastic yeah. replica of a actual working being. Such is life. Mm. Well, that's really cool, and I'm quite jealous. Yes, we would be because of how much I paid for it. Ah, was it more than twelve pence? Yes. Was it more than fifteen pence? Yes. Was so it more this, is, this is American dollars. You can't buy it in the UK. Fifteen mm. cents? No, that's less. No, that's less. Um, uh, the, the retail price for this. Uh, from Matty Collector was $120 and uh, on eBay now it's twice that. Blah. So basically join the queue, buy one of these and then you... Yeah, that's what most people do. Just sell it for... When it used to be, when Ghostbusters, when they first started doing Ghostbusters right. stuff, they used to sell it instantly and then they stick on eBay for twice or triple the price. Good God. Uh, the Ghostbusters truck goes for quite a bit now, because they've mm -hmm. sold out. Basically, any, uh, this, I think this is still available on their website only because you can't buy it outside of the US. Ah, yeah. so yes, that massively limits their does. Um, potential audience. Yeah. Interesting. So there you go. Would you like one more go? Yes. Can you remember the... Oh yeah. First of all, it's the bottom one. Yes. And then... Let's have one now. What's a new effect? I didn't know that. And another thing. Oh, hang on, I've moved it up. I can't move it back down. Uh, that's there clever yeah. that it does that. Yeah, it actually has to be done in the right order. Yeah. There you go, his stomach. Oh, and another thing is, it's also got a sensor in it that if you've got another one of these and you have it close to it, it does this crossing the stream sound. Oh. But oh God, that, I imagine that would have added quite a lot to the um, cost of it. I would, but I'm not, not really. Yeah, I'm not prepared to pay two hundred and forty dollars so to hear just, a slightly different noise. Yes. <laughs> have one in each hand. Proton ones akimbo. Sorry, neutrino. Well, that's nifty. Excellent. Time to go now. <laughs> <laughs>